If your company has or is developing a data-driven culture, chances are you've heard of data stewards. What is a data steward? And what do they do? How do they fit into most organizations? Today, we're talking about data stewardship and the key related role, data stewards. I'm Jen and I demystify analytics and analytics careers. I've talked about data governance in the past. Data governance is really about the high level policies and procedures that you put in place to govern your data and how you work with it. Data stewardship, on the other hand, talks more about application of these policies. How do we make things useful? How do I identify when there are problems? In the simplest sense, data stewardship is the next step in the process, focused on implementation and business impact. A data steward's role in that is really in supporting the user community. And as such, they're really a communication point between technical resources and business resources. Most data stewards focus in subject specific areas. While some companies may employ data stewards full time as part of their master data management, or data governance teams, it's normal and even in cases where there are full-time employees that data steward roles are taken on in addition to other roles someone may have. Typically, a data steward is someone that understands the business and the business's data very well, making them effective and communicating both back to the IT organization that can action different things as well as communicating with the business community, the user community, and consumers of that information. They're conveying different standards that might be set or helping understand different problems that are there and prioritizing them for resolution. You may see data stewards focusing on specific subject areas or within specific functions. This is really dependent on the organization and most likely you'll see a combination of both. So you might have a specific subject area, maybe sales data that you have a specific data steward that has more of a high level governance responsibility for. But you might also see people that are acting as data stewards within the organization also interacting with that data and other data. If we take sales data, for instance, that's of interest typically not just to the sales organization, but also the finance organization and probably to the supply chain organization, to the marketing organization, and maybe other teams as well. So data stewards, can take on multiple different levels of responsibility and might have overlap a little bit from function to function because it's really about how do you interact with that user community. Let's look at some key responsibilities that data stewards will typically help to manage as part of their role. You don't have to start out covering all of these different things. In fact, usually the most effective way to start out with data stewardship in your organization is going to be more from an aspect of starting small and then expanding over time. As you build knowledge, as you build trust, you can also build those processes and get more elaborate or manage many different things through that process, through those data stewards. We've already talked about supporting the user community, collecting different issues that people are experiencing. In some cases, helping to train people in the business, understanding what business data is most relevant, and perhaps what different fields of data to use for different things. That relates also to to managing standard business definitions. We can look at sales, for instance, in a variety of different ways. Are we looking at gross sales, net sales, the profit on things? Are we looking at some other calculation? If a business sells in multiple currencies, are we consolidating that into one? Are we analyzing local currencies and showing them differently? All of these different things can be part of business definitions. And while the data itself, the underlying data may stay the same, it's important for the business to share common definitions of what they mean when they say a certain term. Otherwise, what you end up with is typically you'll have lots of reports done by different people that might use slightly different data in different ways or develop their own definitions. And then when they roll up to the top level, and this is especially true if we're talking about sales data, we end up showing executive reports that are not in alignment with each other. And then that raises the question of who's wrong and who's right. And the real answer might be nobody's right and nobody's 
wrong. We're just talking about different things. By having shared definitions and common standards, we can avoid a lot of this conversation after the fact that call into question all of the analytics that have been performed. Sometimes part of working with the data is managing metadata, but that is often more within the IT structure. Closely related to some of the business definitions are also the business rules. Here we're talking about defining and documenting the rules that are followed, who has access to which data, who's responsible for maintaining certain sets of data. It's not always the data steward themselves that are managing the data itself, but they're acting as that communication center to make sure that everything is understood and being actioned where necessary. The next responsibility of a data steward is communicating with their business function, sharing when there are problems with the data, sharing what those business rules and business definitions are, sharing changes and understanding how changes in the data might impact different business users. Do people need to completely rewrite their reports? Do they need to understand why there was a change from February to March's reports because of a one-time change in the data? Were there acquisitions that might have led to different data being added in? Were there changes in what was sold and how it's tracked? This is especially a challenge when companies start offering anything as a service where maybe they've typically sold products in the past and revenue from a product sale is very different than revenue from a service related sale or something that is going to have an ongoing subscription base. All of those things impact the business users and data stewards help communicate around them and understand what the impact to the business user is. At the same time that they're communicating with business users, data stewards are also doing a lot of communication with the IT organization. So understanding what is IT planning on working on, highlighting challenges and problems the business users might be facing, understanding how those things interact, what timelines are, how priorities are raised and addressed. All of these are part of being a data steward. With good data stewardship, companies can see a really positive impact. It can lead to better data quality. It can lead to more harmonized reports. Sometimes it can eliminate redundant work or move work upstream so that definitions are built into the system or calculations are built into the system that everyone can pull from rather than each function or even people within a function going out and creating their own definitions. Over time, this adds a lot of efficiency. In the short term, it might feel like things are slowing down, but it's a necessary part of the improvement cycle where we sometimes see a dip in productivity to implement something that overall is going to have a really positive impact. Impact. I hope that helps you understand what a data steward is and why data stewardship is important. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.